this is the new Audi Polo and here we're going to show the future of the Audi design. We have done a couple of production cars already and then we put all the new design ideas and clues into this show car and shows very well what we're going to do in the near future. And one main idea is to show the Quattro, that we put Quattro into the body. In the past it was a stuck on element, but now it's in the architecture. That's very important for us that the car um, tells the story of its construction, of its platform. So it's related. Design and technology is related in this design. So you can see here the new face, which is um, Everybody knows the, the single frame, this is what we have here, but we change the proportion big time. So now we have a lower grille and wider grille, and at the same time we have a wide front light. And the trick is this angle of the front light, and this makes the, this front light element very wide, and at the same time we have a very wide grille. And that's the trick to make a new proportion uh, in the Audi face, and you will see that in the future on the production cars as well. Um, the main architecture was a very important thing to us. We wanted to show our platform and we are proud on the Quattro uh, proportion. So we wanted to emphasize that and show it really strong and, and have a lot of modulation. As you can see here, it's really accelerated and really uh, sculptured. So we have a lot of muscles in there. And uh, one special thing is that the, the side pan, all these feature lines are really low and that makes the fender stick out really strong. The same uh, happens in the rear. The quattro elements really standing out and the reason is that this door is really flat and has a very low line and then further on the line steps up and it's really strong. A very iconic element on an Audi is the window arc or here the C-post. The C-post is very fast but then the trunk gets really short and to be able to put the big suitcases in we have um, this special idea with the rear uh, window so there's a certain curvature in it to make a really big loading area so we have a very fast c-post and a deep trunk and this is very special about audi we, we talk about bringing technology and design together as i was mentioned already we have a very very fast poop like roof bow but we have a two-door car so basically when you want to put down all of the windows you have a problem because this is so fast this angle that you can't put all the windows down and we had one idea to solve this problem um, with this big aluminium bar here which um, allows us to bring also the rear window down uh, so we we were able to have a fluid line without having a third post or something. So we had the idea to, con to, to make this possible just over this big aluminium piece at the side. So we here we have a, a very special filler cap. We wanted to keep this area very clean because this muscle is very important uh, for us and we don't want to destroy that with a shut line. So we put this element into the C-post and you can see now how it works. Yeah. So it's opening here and you can fill it up with gas and then it's closing again and everything is clean. Very, a lot of things going on here. It's really nicely accelerated. But to keep the rear end really wide, we uh, widen these elements. So it's very uh, iconic and recognizable as well. It's one, one line going in, into this uh, modulation and that emphasizes the width of the car. You heard a lot about the exterior. The interior is pretty much doing the same thing because we want to achieve a new design language and it's all about you know really new dramatic proportions if you just look at the dashboard it, it does the same like the exterior looking at the front of the car it stretches it shows you immense width of the car the volume of the dashboard is very sleek and stretched so this is very luxurious and at the same time it's very very modern we changed into touch screen technology. You know, we got rid of all the buttons. There's no single button anymore. We have one screen at the center console. And if you start the car, just do that, it awakes. And we have a bending screen, so it flips up really. Here you control climate controls. And this two screens, which are really separate. And we have a three-dimensional object. You have Driving functions on the left side, 
and you have the media at the right side. So this, we, ch we just did bit, put a big screen in the car. We had some small screens and you know the function is located where you find it immediately. What we have here too, and this is completely different in you, since this is a clearly Gran Turismo concept, we gave the passenger another screen so the passenger can interact with the driver. The passenger can modify the driving route if, it's, if the passenger has done that, he can send this information towards the driver. And the driver has basically the next evolution of the virtual cockpit we have shown already in the TT. But on this cockpit, we've gone three-dimensional. So the display is actually a real three-dimensional display. The color concept and material concept in the car underlines basically the whole architecture. What you see here is we have a natural leather and in a dark color on the top of the interior and we have a very light colored leather on the lower part. So the darker one is in order not to have any reflection in the windscreen, the lighter one on the lower part of the interior gives it this really rich and natural feel. What we have done too, when you look at the back of the car, the light material just moves up to the higher level and we've created like a lounge atmosphere in the car, in the back of the car. When you look at the seats, it's always important for us at Audi, you know, we are a big competence in lightweight cars and we want to have the customer to experience the lightweight. So this is why we show it. If you look at the slim appearance of the seats, now they're, they're really sleek, so this is a sporty seat, it's still comfortable but very sleek. And what we have done too on a luxurious car, we even have the wood rim on the seat on the back side of the car.